Well, businesses in Kenosha County are back open tonight, reversing course from yesterday. Tony Atkins shows us why county leaders decided to open back up. After a little confusion and a withdrawn stay at home order, Kenosha County leaders have finally decided to reopen the entire county. People across state lines and some business owners here in Kenosha County decided to take advantage. And we're hopeful, but we're, we're really scared. Cindy Nicoletti was close to liquidating her tanning salon of nearly 20 years. When we closed, we were in at the height of the season that we rely on to make most of our money throughout the year. But after the county with the Druid Safer at Home order, Cabana Tan and Body will go on. Other businesses across Kenosha County will do the same. It's really, really hard because we closed down for one and a half months. Kenosha County's decision to withdraw its order came just one day after issuing it. County leaders say they've opted for best practices instead of requirements as their reasoning for withdrawing the order. The county released a list of best practices Friday afternoon. They recommend cloth face coverings for anyone who can wear them, and businesses are also encouraged to screen all employees for symptoms before each shift. The county's decision to open up caught the attention of people across the border. Today alone, I've probably answered about 30 phone calls from people from Illinois asking if we've been open and if we are opening. The broad stop expects new customers from Illinois since its stay at home order remains in effect. People like Jim Adams. Been, I haven't been in here yet. If it's <laughs> crowded, we're walking right back out. He and his wife visited the broad stop, but did so cautiously. What do they say? Wear face masks, wash your hands a lot. <laughs> it's something they plan on doing for the foreseeable future. Reporting in Kenosha County, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News.